Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics. Uh, in this video, we're going to highlight certain players who were drafted fairly high in the NFL Draft who didn't really live up to expectations and try to see if the data can kind of explain or at least give some insight as to why they may not have been drafted as high as they were. Um, if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description of all that stuff out of the way. Let's get to the player in question today in Lawrence Maroney running back out of uh, Minnesota. Uh, Lawrence Maroney, again, was a first round pick of the, of the New England Patriots, and he's seen by many as a bust, as a player that really didn't live up to the expectations um, that the, uh, the Patriots had of him um, or that he kind of put on himself in some ways. Um, when you look at his production data, uh, he only had a 68.53 market share production score. Uh, didn't quite hit the all-pro career threshold, the five-time Pro Bowl career threshold. Did hit at least above the three-time Pro, Pro Bowl um, threshold. But when you look at the averages of the position, he didn't really hit near the all-pro career average. He didn't hit above the Pro Bowl career average. He didn't hit above the average starter average either. So Maroney was somewhat questionable in terms of his production data. Definitely not bad. Definitely not the biggest red flag ever, but I think the biggest sort of question mark with Lawrence Maroney based on his data or based on what he looked like on paper was his athleticism traits. He only had a 73.17 explosive lower body strength score and a 76.84 speed score for his size. And when it comes to the running back position, uh, you want running backs that have at least one 79 or higher athleticism trait in order to have all pro slash pro bowl potential. Uh, because every single one of the multiple all pro slash pro bowl types had at least a 79 or higher trait. And when it comes to Lawrence Maroney, he doesn't have one. He doesn't have an explosion trait that's above 79. He doesn't have a speed trait that's above 79. And not only that, there's no flexibility testing for him. Yeah. No short shuttle, no three count. Uh, to really determine, you know, what his, his uh, you know, what he looks like from that perspective. And in many ways, the three count is very important at the ring back position. 95% uh, of multiple all pros as Pro Bowl running backs have at least a 7.093 cone. And the fact that we don't have one for Maroney either means that he may not have put up a good one, or he could also have just not done it just because he decided not to do it. But in many ways, that's another sort of questionable aspect of Lawrence Maroney on paper that would have gave you some pause in terms of drafting him high. Uh, the bottom line is, when it comes to Lawrence Maroney is, he definitely had. He doesn't have a terrible profile per se, uh, but he doesn't have a profile that checks all the boxes. He doesn't check all the boxes in terms of a six-time Pro Bowl uh, or a five-time Pro Bowl running back. Uh, he doesn't really check all the boxes in terms of hitting above the averages of an All-Pro to starter running back, and he definitely doesn't have the athleticism traits of a above-average, uh, you know, multiple All-Pro slash Pro Bowl running back. Nor does he have the flexibility testing to back up the potential either. Um, so in general, not the most clear bust ever when you look at him on paper, but there definitely were some significant red flags in his data um, that could have contributed to some of the issues that he had at the NFL level. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.